Greetings everyone, this In this lesson, we're going to talk about HTTP response. HTTP response is basically a message, but this message is sent from the server to the browser on the client. In the previous lesson, we discussed about HTTP request that was a message sent from the browser or the client to the server. HTTP response is the reply of that specific request. This reply contains information about the requested data. In the response, this can contain the contents of the file of the web page and the information that the user requested. Suppose user is requesting the site filepo.com. A request will be sent to the server requesting the data. Now, in the response, the server will return something. Let me show you. This is the HTTP response. You can see this response from and this is the file or the path that requested. Each HTTP request has a specific response. This is how the response looks like. At the start there is an there is a version in this case it's 1.1 after the version it's the status code status code will be a three digit number it can be anything like 200 201 20 something 302 301 404 403 this can be anything each status code tells the browser that was the request successful was the request rejected was the content found or it wasn't so it's actually a condition this tells the browser that what was the server's response 200 ok means the response was was valid the server returned something the 403 means forbidden that means the requested content was not accessible 404 is, a, is an error that occurs when the requested content is not found now in this case it's 200 there are a lot of them you can search for then there are many status codes out there so these this is actually a basic one that we normally get so this is a status line. In status line, we get version and the status code. At the end of the header of the headers, we get the content that the server returned. This is the content length, the length of content, and you can see the content type. Like it's an HTML text slash HTML. This means it's the content returned is HTML. You can see all the contents once returned the server the browser will render the content and will see normal kind of response as you can see the contents are now rendered by the browser so that's the HTTP response a specific request um, request reply or you can say a uh, response of a specific request see the next video for the headers